Hi guys, in this video, I'll be talking about why you should not buy a diamond without first viewing the diamond under the A set and hearts and arrow scope. Have you guys ever wondered why diamonds look especially beautiful and sparkly in the jewelry shops? Why doesn't it look as good once you've stepped out of the shop? Many consumers make the mistake of judging how good the diamond is by just looking and comparing them in a jewelry store. Most often, they will make the decision based on this on what they see in front of their eyes. So now let's put it to the test. Over here, I have two very good examples. Both are GIA certified triple excellent diamonds, except one of them is a super ideal cut and the other is a normal GIA triple excellent with light leakages. Right now, I'm filming these diamonds in a jewelry store which has those typical jewelry store lighting. Frankly, these two diamonds look the same and I can hardly tell them apart. Both are very beautiful and brilliant. Now this is the thing about jewelry stores. They all use jewelry store lightings. It's usually a mixture of LED or uh, halogen lights which will make any diamond brilliant. This is why in a jewelry store, you'll find pretty much all diamonds looking the same and all just as beautiful. And it's very hard to make a decision. Now let me show you both diamonds again under fluorescent lights. Fluorescent lights are the typical office lighting with the long white tube lights. See the big difference? The super ideal cut on the left has eight very distinct arrows. The diamond on the right with light leakages looks much messier and darker, especially in the middle area of the diamond where the light leakages are. Also, both of these diamonds are the same colour. Both of them are E-colour. The right side diamond can seem of a lower colour due to the light leakages, making it appear darker. The JMAX is a controlled light environment that is used to see the fire and scintillation. It creates light paths that enter the diamond in different angles to allow you to see how each and every facet respond to light. It's very obvious here that the super ideal cut totally outshines the other. You can see the eight arrows flaring up and the very colourful dispersion of light. Whereas the diamond on the right have a hollow or empty ring in the middle where the light leakages are at. Right now, we're seeing the diamonds outdoor under a shaded environment. There is no external lights being used here, but just natural lighting. If you're waiting under the bus stop or sitting under a tree, this is how your diamond will look like. What makes a diamond brilliant is the balance of contrast and brightness. The Super Ideal achieves this perfect balance with its 8 distinct black arrows you're seeing. You'll notice it hardly appears on the right side diamond, making it look very bland. In fact, the light leakages on the other diamond is very obvious in the middle, causing the diamond to be darker and less bright. This is my favourite part of this video where the diamonds are under direct natural sunlight. Just look at the big difference between the two. The multiple explosions of colours from the Super Ideal is enough to attract the attention of anyone standing far away. The light performance far surpasses the other diamond where its sparkle seems muted. The difference here is very obvious. There you go guys. How you see diamonds under different lightings makes a huge difference. Both of these diamonds look identical under shop lightings. Unsuspecting consumers would usually rely on what they see in the shop. However, when you view it outside, it shows a different story. This is why we always emphasize that you must use the scopes to check your diamond. They are used to ensure that the diamond you're paying for is worth it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I have. If you have any questions, feel free to email or call us. Thank you for watching.